The bitter blast going to stick around for a while. There's also snow in the forecast. John Milan joins us with the weather. John. Well, I'll tell you, this is an early blast of winter weather around here. We're going to see temperatures that are abnormally uh, cold for this time of the year, even as much as 20 to 25 degrees. Colder than normal. This weekend, the frigid air will be everywhere across Wisconsin and the Great Lakes. And then we're going to watch at the end of this weekend this weak little low that rotates around the big trough of cold air. And that could bring us some accumulating snow Sunday night into Monday morning. Uh, we start out the day 39 degrees, which is above the average of 36. So in the record books, December 5th looks like a mild day, but actually our daytime high 27 degrees. And so far this month, only a trace of snow. So we're actually running below normal for snowfall. We'll probably get that uh, coming up by Monday morning. Today's high temperatures check out well to the west. Five in Sioux Falls, Fargo, two. Minneapolis 9, that are still moving in our direction. So actually tomorrow and Saturday will be the coldest days of this Arctic blast. Right now we have dropped to 19 Watertown, Beaver Dam, also in Fond du Lac and Waukesha. Whitewater down to 20, so is Lake Geneva and Burlington, 24. From Milwaukee through Racine and also Kenosha. Now the winds have been strong all day. They continue to be strong this evening. Factor the wind in, the wind chills already down to Sevenport, Washington, Sheboygan, and West Bend, Burlington, Lake Geneva also. But look at that, five already in Beaver Dam. We're going to see wind chills drop to five below zero in the city here. Twelve is what it feels like in Milwaukee. Tonight's lows, coldest of the year so far, down to ten in Milwaukee. Eight, Waukesha, eight, Watertown, seven, Beaver Dam, nine, Whitewater, and also at Burlington. So it's just going to be a chilly night and with the winds still brisk. Wind chills tonight to about five below. A few clouds are moving in. That will help a little bit with the temperatures, and all of the rain and snow will be well to our south. Also, freezing rain in the Ohio Valley, but we are going to miss out on everything going on tonight. Cold air just continues to pour in. High pressure continues to move south, and will continue to bring that frigid air in right on through Saturday. Then on Sunday, the high is to our east. Southerly winds will start a bit of a warm up but only into the 20s, still well below normal for this time of the year. 16 in Madison tomorrow, 11, that's your high temperature lacrosse. Look at the high in Wausau, 5 there, 7. Rhinelander about 17 here, but we'll see a little bit of sunshine. So for tonight, partly cloudy skies, about 5 below on the wind chills, 10. Your overnight low, we'll see some sunshine for tomorrow, but wind chills again to 5 below. High temperatures only around 17 degrees. Tomorrow night, even colder. Five in the city. Uh, we could even see uh, zero to one or two below zero. Well, to our west and northwest, wind chills will be down to about 10 below zero. And then on Saturday, another sunny but cold day with a high of only 18 degrees. Sunday is the day we'll be watching for snow. Snow should develop later in the afternoon, but the real accumulating snow will be Sunday night into Monday morning. So that Monday morning commute could be a little slick and with the cold temperatures. Even a couple inches will make it slick. 16 is your high Tuesday, 17 Wednesday, but then we warm up into next weekend. And also, Packer game on yeah, Sunday. Yeah, I worry about those folks. <laughs> Very cold, cold up they, there. That, not a big snowstorm for them, but it will be chilly. You'll